Hi everybody, it is the morning of the 28th, uh, so it's not a day of the trail, because we're done. Uh, yesterday was Summit Day, uh, we got up at 6 altogether. We were in a shelter at a campground that was for four people, and they meant four people shoulder to shoulder. So we slept there, um, and then went up the Hunt Trail. There was a... I wonder what's going on over here. There's some dogs whining earlier. Now the police are over there, and I just saw fire rescue go by. So I wonder if like someone's getting in trouble for animal abuse. Anyway, um, so we, uh, well, okay. I I still it still hasn't hit me. Today still feels like a hiking day. Up early, we got a shuttle to catch to um, Bangor. I don't leave Bangor until tomorrow afternoon. But Bear got a bus at 9 a.m. Um, college's sister is picking him up at the hostel this morning. So Bear, Dirty Dan, and I are going to go to Bangor early because the shuttle to Medway that gets you to the bus to Bangor gets into Bangor on Sunday after, bus, after Bear's bus leaves. So we have to go there today. Because um, they only do one a day, and it's the same time every day. So the climb. Um, we dropped off our stuff at the ranger station, well, most of it. So we took like food and water up. Um, I took my bag and some other things like warm weather clothes. Um, the weather was supposed to be perfect, uh, partly cloudy and it held out really well. Um, the, we went up the hunt trail. It was, uh, there was a bridge out. So instead of fording it, we took a detour and then, um, they, it was, there was a ton of people out there. Um, we were uh, probably one of the last groups to leave, to be perfectly honest. I don't think we got out onto the trail until 8 o'clock. And then um, once we got on the trail, we flew past everybody. Um, except for the other three riders. Um, it was kind of scary how fast we were going without any weight up this like vertical rock face like I was tossing myself up and over boulders like I've never done before um adrenaline and wanting to show off to other hikers was probably the two big driving forces behind that um and we made it uh the 5.2 miles in about three hours which is not good if we're talking about regular hiking but I think that the average ascent up um Katahdin is like five hours or so they told us to get started by six and we just kind of laughed at them because we thought that was a ridiculously early time to go. Um, and it would have been, but we got up to the summit. Uh, the second half was completely exposed and the wind was really whipping, um, to the point where we were getting pushed around a little bit. And so we, um, I, I threw, I took my trekking poles and put them away cause it wasn't even worth carrying them. Um, that's how rocky it was. The wind was pushing us around it was freezing. I put, it was like going up um, Kilimanjaro, honestly. I put all my cold weather gear on, so it was good. Um, we got up there about 11 o'clock. I got up there about 11 o'clock. The other guys had already gotten there, and we were just like hanging out with all the other um, through hikers that were there, got some pictures, and then um, came down the A Ball Trail, which basically we could have just jumped off the mountain and it would have been just as steep and. Um, and just as quick to get down, it was just like a straight, straight down the mountainside over boulders, which was fine. Um, honestly, I don't think there was a not super steep way down that mountain, so it worked out. Um, still hasn't hit me. It's still not real. Um, I think once I start getting on my way home, maybe later today it'll feel real. Um... And just relaxing. I, last night I ate an appetizer sampler and a cheeseburger and all the accoutrement with that and was still hungry afterwards. Um, I think there's a, Mc, no, a Wendy's near the bus station in Bangor. <coughs> <coughs> you can see I'm still not over the sinus infection. Well, I am. It's just that my nose is still running. Um, probably partly because of the cl uh, cold. 
Um, today's supposed to be cloudy and rainy. It hasn't gotten fully cloudy yet, so I really hope the people that were at the hostel that are climbing up today get good weather. Um, once I get home next, in probably about a week or so, I'm going to do a gear review and talk about everything. Just kind of do a bigger recap of the trail and then talk about what gear I used and didn't use and got rid of and, um, what I'm thinking for my next hike, um, which I might start, I might just start sectioning the PCT and or the CDT. Um, the Te Aurora trail looks like a really cool one to do out in New Zealand. So that might be, um, on the list too. We'll see. Uh, gotta find the time for it. And then, um, do I have something in my eye? Yeah, it looks red. Oh well, we'll figure it out later. I'm sure there's plenty of aches and pains that my body's just been ignoring because there's been so many others that I'll be finding new injuries over the next week or so. Um, that's about it. Hadn't I'll be home, I think, on the 3rd? Late on the 3rd? And then um, recuperating in my apartment starting after that. Um, I don't have anything else to say right now that I can think of. Um, we're done, baby. Uh, I will talk to y'all soon and, uh, get the, the last video up in a little while once I get home. Hope y'all have a good one.